Hey guys, Gap from Sutomo Lewis here. Uh, today I'd like to go over some safety ideas. Again, these are just some ideas that I've um, thought about. I'm sure those of you who know that we lost a couple of our friends this season, this IE season, have already rethought your safety protocol. And I just, I really hope we can have an open conversation maybe in the comments and share ideas of how to make fishing safer for all of us and these are just some of the ideas that I've come up with um, and the first one is your life vest um, my life vest on our boat like a lot of you was stashed in the cab all the way in the front in a compartment and if our boat flipped over in a hurry there would be no way for us to get to it. Um, so one of the things I did now is I put three life jackets on the deck of our boat. <clears throat> and it's in the way, it's in the open. It's kind of a pain, but if your boat goes over in a hurry, at least they'll have a chance of floating um, and you can swim and grab it. Another thing I did was I tied a rope to my boat and the other end of the rope I tied to a, a mooring buoy or a, like a soft um, plastic buoy, one of those big orange buoys. And the reason for that is I thought that if the boat went down in a hurry and it flipped over, um, there would really be nothing for us to grab a hold of. And everyone knows that you should stay with your boat. Um, if you end up in the water, but if the boat flipped over, basically you'd only have the bottom of the hull to grab a hold of and that'd be pretty hard to do for a long amount of time. So I tied a rope to one of the cleats and I have a buoy on the other end. So again, hopefully the buoy will float out and it'll give um, us something to hang on to. Now this is in that scenario if the boat went down in a hurry obviously if you were taking on water and you noticed it you would you would then have time to grab your life vest or tie something up to the boat but if you're fighting fish or something and you took a rogue wave and the boat went down in a hurry then you'd be in um you'd have no chance to get your safety equipment or your ditch bag. I know a lot of guys have ditch bags, but again, it's in the cab and tucked away where it's out of the way while you're fishing, but it does you no good if the boat goes down in a hurry. Um, another reason why I thought of the line with the buoy is any of you who has done any type of diving or spear fishing, I see like blue water diving, but you probably know that the current can get you away from the boat in a hurry. And if your boat, my thought was that if the boat did flip over and by the time we got away from the boat and gained our bearings and made sure everybody was okay, the boat would, if the water was rough, be drifting pretty fast. And that extra line with a buoy on it might give you a chance to catch up to it. And again, the life vest on the deck um, would hopefully stay around where you were even if the boat drifted away real quick. Um, so that's that. And then also, so that's the life vests that are on, on the boat. But I also um, got, a, got this life vest for myself. I fish on a lot of other people's boats and just made me think to put your safety in your own hands so take your own life vest on this life vest I have my personal EPIRB connected to it um, and a whistle that's normally tied up pretty tight but you know obviously you can get it if you need to and then I'll probably attach this stroke to it and so if you're gonna fish with somebody else a lot of times if you, you a lot of times if you fish on a charter boat, first thing in the morning you get a safety briefing. Hey, here, this is where the life vests are. This is where the EPIRB is. Um, but when you go fishing with your friends, hey, you, got, you want a crew for me for the day? Sure, you go 
and you fish the whole day and have no idea where the guy's e-curb or um, life vests are. So started to think that everybody should take responsibility for their own safety protocol and bring your own life jackets. When I fish on other people's boats, I, you know, I bring my own shades, I bring my own gloves um, for fishing, pretty much, you know, bring your own stuff. So uh, one other thing that you could add to that list is your own um, safety equipment. And again, just when you get on the boat, just throw this on the guy's deck in the corner somewhere where it's not going to be so much in the way and at least you know where your stuff is and you can be responsible for yourself so put this on tank tank animals need a life vest too tank go good boy tank on my boat I actually just have you know those type of life vests that go around your neck um the kind of Probably the cheapest one that's US Coast Guard legal. Um, the reason why I got this life jacket is I'm sure everyone's been out there when the water was rougher than you would like it to be or maybe you went out for the day and the water wasn't too bad but by the time midday came everything picked up and now you're caught in a situation where it's a little bumpy out there. So I thought that would be a good time for a life jacket like this where you could put it on and fishing would be a little bit more humbug but you could still do it and i chose this one because it hugs me pretty close and the front part isn't too bulky and so if i needed to work the deck you know um land a fish or something you could still do it um it'd be more of a pain but in that particular situation Think about the times when you were out there and the water was more snotty than you would like it to be and to the point where you were almost like, I hope nothing bites at this moment right now. So that would be a good time for a life jacket like this. And again, I clip my e curb on the side so that for the most part it's out of the way. Um, but I think I'm going to, I haven't done it yet, but I think in that situation it'd be a good time to put this type of life jacket on and just be prepared. That's just some of the ideas that I came up with. And if you guys have any other ideas, I'd love to see them in the comments. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share any of the ideas that you folks have. Thanks.